Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a Neokyo haul. If you watched my last Neokyo haul, I went absolutely insane. This one, as you can see, is much more calm. But I am just going to move everything out of the way. I did already obviously take it out of the box and take all of my like name tag things off. So I am just going to get started. So here is the first card. You guys will see as we go through, I have a lot of dream catcher today, which is very exciting. So here is the first one. So this is Xi'an. So this is the um, like purple backed selfie card from summer holiday so all the cards i have in here are summer holiday cards so you'll see some more she on today so there she is okay and then next i have more dream catcher i would say the bulk of this video is going to be dream catcher um just because i really wanted to finish summer holiday well start and finish basically um so this one just came with a bunch of stickers so um, I'm just gonna give these away to a friend probably and then I do have Dami's like um, I don't know what you would call this like film slide thing So I will be putting this in my binder very excited about that. Okay, and then I do have the majority of her cards here So this is her selfie one. So this is the same set as the Xi'an one I love this one because I love the little rose in her hair and the back is so cute a little panda so there's that one. And then I have all of her non-selfie ones. So um, for summer holiday, I only collected the regular editions. So here is this one. I am not collecting the limiteds just because that feels like it would be uh, a lot of money. So yes, I did collect the limited ones and I'm very happy about it. I'm super excited. I've been really getting into Dreamcatcher lately. And there's this one. This is the blue one. Very nice. I actually prefer the non-selfie sets for these ones just because they're like super cohesive. Like they're all in front of the same backgrounds for all of them. So then there's this one and I love this one. She looks so beautiful. So very, very cute. I'm so excited to put these away in my binder. So there she is. Okay, and then next, uh, Neokyo had their second anniversary sale. And so there was no fees for anything that you purchased so I literally bought all of this on like one day um and so I don't know this just came up it was like two dollars like I've literally never seen a card this cheap and I was like there has to be something wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it I think it was just cheap because it's like a non-selfie album card for an album that's still in print um there's what the back looks like so I don't know I just bought it on a whim because I was like there's no buy fees I'm just gonna buy everything that I see uh so I don't know why I have that um but I do <laughs> Okay, so then here is another Xi'an card. I also feel like I got forgot to say this was from their previous album, like not Summer Holiday, but the one before it. And I don't actually remember what it was called, um, but I do really like this Xi'an card because I like her hair in it. So, And then this is another Xi'an card. For some reason, I couldn't find hers in sets. Um, so there's a, like a few that are just one card, but it's okay because as I said, I didn't pay any of the uh, Neokyo fees. So there we go. I feel like I'm really getting all the Dreamcatcher out just like right at the start. Um, here is Gahyan, so cute. Oh, this one was just like in the top loader. <laughs> um, there she is. I love the blue set of these. Um, I just think it's so fun and so light. So there's Gahyan and then this Yuhyun. I pulled, oh geez, I think two of her cards in my albums. I don't remember now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was two. And then I found Octopus Yuhyun and that just like spurred this entire haul basically. Um, I don't know. I just decided I wanted to collect all of them once I had that one. So here's this Yuhyun. Super cute. There she is. Okay. And then next I have another set. So this is a Sua set and it actually came with a few like pre-order benefits. So I will show you those. It did also come with just a couple more stickers. So there's these. And first thing is her little uh, slide thing. I'm pretty sure I already have hers. So uh, I think the only ones I'm missing are Handong and Yuhyun potentially. So I might see if I can trade this for one of those. Okay, and then here is this card. I think this might be her K-Town for you pre-order benefit, but I'm not 
certain on that. I know there's music, Korea, music, arts, and K-Town for you, if I remember correctly. So I feel like based on what I remember, this is K-Town. So it also feels kind of like a K-Town for you card, if that makes sense. But I love this card. She looks so beautiful. And then next I have an album card for her. So this is just her purple back one super cute i really love this one and then next is this one this is either music korea or music art i think is what they're called um it doesn't say on the back but i do like the back this is like the colors of the limited edition version of the album so there she is very very pretty and then here is another one this one says it's my music taste on the back so i don't need to guess for this one um this one is really cute and these are like my favorite outfits from the music video so i'm happy to have this i know it's a lot of sua but um it's okay i love sua so much and then this one i think this one is music art it feels really thick like thicker than any of my other music korea cards and it's also hollow like vaguely I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because I can barely see it, but it's like slightly holographic. So I'm gonna say this one is music art, but there it is. And if you notice, it is the exact same as this. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this one up for trade and I believe it's Music Korea. I will double check for any other pre-order benefit, whether it be SUA or not. Obviously like not these other SUAs, but um, any SUA or any other member just literally any period of benefit. It does not have to be a Music Korea. I don't care. I just don't want two of the exact same picture. So if this would interest you, please do let me know. And I would love, love, love to trade with you. Okay, and then we have this Sua. And this is going to look familiar to anyone who watched my unboxing of Summer Holiday. I pulled this in my album and then I gave it away to my friend. So I did need to repurchase it. Um, her bias is Sua and this was like a really pretty card. So I gave it to her. So there she is again. And then again, I don't know why I like held it up backwards. Um, here is her blue concept card, very cute. And then this one I already have. This is her uh, red back one. So this one, I don't know what I'll do with. Put it up for trade or something, I'm not sure. But there she is. And then lastly, I have her orange back selfie card. So there's this one and this is the first orange back card that I have because I didn't pull any of my albums and this is the first one that I'm like opening here. So there is this one, very cute. Okay, next we are just gonna keep on with the dream catcher trend apparently. Um, I have, oh geez, this is like really stuck in here. I have some GU cards. This is her film strip thing and I think I already have her so like I said, I will put the extra ones up for trade for Handong or Yuhyun, I think. You can check my Instagram, but uh, yes, there is that. And then I have some of her album cards, so we can flip through these. So here is the first selfie, and she looks so cute. <laughs> So there's her selfie and I love that, it was so adorable. And then here is her other selfie, the orange backed one. And I love the backs of her cards are so adorable. So there's that one. And then I do have all of her concept cards. I believe I pulled this one in my album. So again, I don't know, I'll figure something out with the Sua one and this one that I have an extra of, but there's that one. And then this one is so pretty. It's, oh geez, <laughs> the red back one. Um, I would say these ones are my least favorite set out of the concept ones just because they're like really dark and shadowy, but I still really like them. And then here's the purple one. So there we go. Okay, next we finally have uh, something non dream catcher. So this is a One Us Black Mirror limited card. This is Connie's card. Okay, hold on. So. As I was saying, this is Connie's limited card from their Black Mirror Japanese comeback. So you will see many more of these limited cards in here and the uh, regular version ones as well. So there's Connie's super cute. Okay, and then next I have the final freaking <laughs> Us Room card that didn't make it into my last haul. And you would have seen if you watched that one that I had like so many of these cards and then I had to just wait how is this in here <laughs> um I had just the one Huanum that didn't make it and I was so sad because it just left this really like awkward space in my binder but now I have him so all is well so here is this Huanum 
very cute. There he is. And then next I have another Huanyu. So I pulled Huanyu's limited photo card in my album. So I was just missing his regular card. So I have it here. I love his regular card. It's so cute. Actually, not really cute, but like he looks really good in it. So there he is. And one us is having a comeback, you guys, in November. I'll talk more about it when I have like multiple cards to open, but I'm very excited. So <laughs> next, these are just a few Oh My Girl cards. And I'm actually, you guys, so close to finishing, finishing Oh My Hyojung's entire set. So um, I'm so excited about that. So there's this one, so cute. And I actually just found a trade for one of my Purple Kiss cards uh, for a Hyojung. So that gets me even one step closer. I am so excited. These ones are really cute too. I'm really happy that I have these ones. They look really similar, but they are not the same, I promise you. So then there's this one. I'm really excited to put these away in my binder. I'm making very slow and steady progress on my Dun Dun Dance collection. Um, and then what is this? Some Handong cards. Back to Dreamcatcher. <laughs> that is the bulk of this video just because um, I was trying to complete the album and everything was so cheap. Like, I because I didn't need to pay the Neo Kyo fees, it just ended up being so inexpensive. So there's this Handong. So cute. And then this selfie. And I honestly thought that I accidentally like bought two of these, but... Um, I don't think I did so uh, we will see I guess when I look at my binder but I don't know why this card looks like so familiar to me um, but I think it just looks like one of her other cards so we will see together but I don't think it's a duplicate okay and then next I have these BTS cards um, these are in here I just want to like point out this is so funny to me so this person I thought at first that like the top loader was just broken and they taped it together but they actually taped two top loaders together like they're just two separate top loaders which is funny i mean it's a lot of like extra protection but i was like oh my it's so funny so these two i'm not going to take out of the plastic because they're actually not mine they are for a friend of mine so i'm just going to send them to her like this in the plastic that they're already in so yes there is these two okay and then next we are back to one us um, for some reason, I could not find a lot of the limited cards in a set. I don't know. It was hard to find them in a set um, that didn't already include the Huanun card that I had. And I don't want any duplicates. I'm like really trying hard not to get duplicate cards. I say as I've already like opened a few duplicates, but um, I'm trying to be better about it. So <laughs> I wanted to find them without that. So I have Xi'an's separately so um I did have to buy I think all of them on their own but that's okay okay and then let's go back to dream catcher quickly so I have a Xi'an set oh my gosh I just unboxed or not unboxed I just opened a Xi'an card from one us and now I'm opening a dream catcher Xi'an card it's very fitting their names aren't like spelled the same but they do sound very similar so oh my Oh no, oh no, the tape is on the card. <laughs> See, this is why we don't use masking tape or like scotch tape rather. Okay, <laughs> so here's Xi'an's blue backed one, very nice. And then her purple back one, which is, or not, I guess it's not purple back, it's her selfie. It's just in the purple um, background. Anyways, this one is so beautiful. So I'm very, very happy to have this. Okay, and now we are back to one us again. So this is another limited card. If you're wondering where all of my um, regular version cards are, I did get those in a set minus Hwanung. So uh, we will see those later. There's a fuzz or something. Um, yes, yeah, so here is Ido's, very nice. And then I have Raven's right after that. So and open his it these were really hard and I find that I always have trouble with one as Japanese releases they're like pre-order sets and stuff always look identical to other cards and like the the cards that come in the album look identical so there was like a kiss and set I think it was or tower records or something that looked identical to these it had the white border same outfits just like 
slightly different pose and it was really hard to figure out which one was which and I had the same issue with No Diggity. The cards were like so similar to the uh, Devil album cards and stuff. It was just, it was a nightmare. They always like make it slightly difficult for me, but it's okay. Um, I managed and I don't think I messed up, so <laughs> that's good. Um, next, I just have some Oh My Girl bungee cards. I don't know really, like I'm not super collecting OT7 for Oh My Girl, but um, I did just want some of their cards. So here's Hyojung. I don't know. I just want like enough cards that it looks cute in my binder. And I feel like I have barely any for their older albums. So uh, whenever I see them for cheap, I'll just snatch them up. So there's a couple Hyojung cards and then some group cards, which I don't have any Oh My Girl group cards. So I was really excited to find these. So there's the first one. And the second one. I know a lot of people don't like group cards. I really like group cards. So there's these ones. So cute. Okay, and then because I saw this also sitting near the top of the pile, um, I do have a bunch of Mimi cards from Bungie. I think actually her full set. I don't remember how many cards there was for Bungie, but I feel like it's her full set. So here is the first one. It's just her like item card. And then the second one is so cute, her selfie card. <laughs> so here's this one. And I love that her hair is in like a bun like that. So very, very adorable. And then just a couple more concept ones. So here's this one, very cute with a little ice cream. And then her very, last one is just this one so I'm very excited Mimi is my bias so I was so happy when I saw these ones I snatched them right up okay and then I do have just a couple more oh my girl cards and I think that this is it for oh my girl after this um I did just get a couple more Mimi cards so here is this one these are from secret garden so these are the non like item cards. Actually, did Secret Garden have item cards? Now I don't remember. Um, and then there's her second one. Super cute. These are like very flimsy. I feel like maybe their first press or something like that. But there we go. And then I have just one single one us card here. Oh geez. Um, I have Saho's limited card. I found like the perfect listing and it had Saho, Raven, I feel like somebody else. And it was so perfect and it was so cheap. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. So I did have to buy everyone separately, but um, it's okay. But I was like so shocked that a Saho card on Mercury Japan was cheap because that literally never happens. But um, yeah, I didn't get it sadly, but that's okay. So next, this is uh, the very last dummy card. So it's just her orange backed selfie one. <laughs> it's so cute. The back is so cute. So there's that. And then you guys, this is probably like the thing that I'm most excited for in this haul. I did get Octopus Yuhyun. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's so cute in person. So here is the card that is Octopus Yuhyun. I'm so happy to have this. Very, very excited. And then this one did also come with her purple one. So there's that, very pretty. And then next I have this big Gahin set. So this came with most of her album cards and then I think maybe like one or two pre-order cards. Actually, I think just one now that I'm thinking about it. So it did come with a couple of stickers and then her little slide thing. So this one, the Suo one and the Geo one, I'm pretty sure, and the Dami one were all from the same seller, I'm pretty sure, because they're all like packaged the exact same and stuff. So hers is so pretty, I'm really happy. And I didn't have hers already, so I'm so excited to have this one. And then for her album cards, I have her red backed one. Very pretty, she looks so pretty in this one. So there's that. And then this is one of her selfie ones. So cute. She looks so good in this one too. 
I feel like she's really like on top of the photo card game. Um, and then this one, which is also really beautiful. So there she is, that's the purple one. And then I do already have this card and I am just going to give it to the same friend that the BTS cards were for. So I'm not going to take it out of its plastic. But yes, I do have this Gahyeon as well. And very last, it did come with a pre-order card and it is the same set as the holographic Sua one. So I think that means it's music art because I do remember this one being um, music art. So yes, this one I feel like you can kind of see the holographic a little better than the Sua one, but it's super cute. So I'm very happy to have this. Okay, and then next up, I have some more Wanus cards. So now that I have a bunch of Wanus cards in a row, I can talk about their concert and their comeback. So yes, Wanus is finally, I guess I shouldn't say finally because they just had a comeback. This one comes with a really cute note. <laughs> um, they just had a comeback in May, but they are having a comeback in November. I think it's gonna be like late November or like mid November. There's a full moon on the 19th, I think it is. So I'm assuming that it'll be around that time, but they are also having a concert on the 6th and the 7th. So I will be not attending it in person, but it is an in-person concert. So they do have an online option. So I will be purchasing one ticket. So there's Raven's normal Black Mirror card. So this set includes four members. So there's Raven's and then here is Edo's. But I think that their concept is going to be a mixture of lit and a song written easily, just based on like what we've seen so far. There's no teasers or anything out yet. They literally just announced that there would be a comeback. We don't know the date. We don't know anything about it, but it just feels very lit-esque. So I am really happy because that is actually when I found out about one of his existence. So it's very sentimental for me. It's not when I like ulted them or anything. But um, yes, that was my very first like intro to One Us. And so I'm super happy if that's the type of concept they're going for again. But there's Dongju. And then the very last thing in this haul is just the pre-order cards from Black Mirror. So these were, I think, the Kiss Ent pre-order cards. All of these out. And this should be OT6 if I remember correctly. So here we have Hwanung's, very nice. These are a little bit bigger because they're Kiss Ant, so I don't know if you can really tell, probably not, because they're both black on the edges, but um, there we go. Yeah, they are a bit bigger. They're their standard like Kiss Ant sized cards, which I don't mind. I don't think it looks bad in the binder, so I'm fine with that. And then the back is just matte. So there's Hwanung, Ido. I won't show the backs anymore because they don't even say their names. <laughs> and then there's Kony's card, very cute. And then the final three members here, we have Saho's and Raven. I love Raven's card, it looks so good. It looks so cute. Oh my God, I cannot speak today. And then Dongju, so adorable. So, okay, you guys, that is actually everything for today. Not as long as my normal hauls, but still a considerable <laughs> amount of cards. So yeah, I am very happy with all of these. I know it was a lot of just dream catcher, but uh, still very excited to have all of these. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.